Hi guys, welcome back. Well, this is the piece of brass that I uh, cast. I believe it was Sunday night. And uh, I've started machining it down. Um, I've cut a M12 thread onto this end. And uh, this then will uh, mate up with the existing spindle that's in the headstock. Uh, I've machined this section down to the same diameter. So uh, on this side I've start, started cutting a half inch thread. Now this piece that I've got mounted in the chuck uh, I need to turn this down to 25 millimeters. Um, the two pillow blocks that I've ordered should arrive today, and there are, there are 25 mil bearing in those. Now this this piece will be screwed onto this extension. So I need to turn the body of it down to the 25 millimeters. On this side, on this end, there'll be the crossing wheel, uh, which will be permanently attached to it. So uh, I've got that to cast yet. So I'm going to turn the body of this down to the 25 mil to suit the bearings, and then I'll, I'll look at putting a. The thread on this end to me up to the piece of brass.
these mist covered mountains are home now for me. But my home is the lowlands and always will be. Someday. And you'll no longer burn to be prisoner. Through these fields of destruction. Baptisms of fire. I've witnessed your suffering as the battle reached high. And though it had been so bad, in the fear and the love.
Well guys, a bit more progress there. I got the two pillow blocks this morning and uh, I've turned that uh, shaft down to suit those, a 25mm bearing in those. And I've threaded the brass extension on. I still haven't, uh, I've still got to drill and tap the original spindle on the headstock for this to go in. That's a 12mm thread on that. So I've got to dismantle this and put that in my largest lathe and set the steady rest up and I can get that drilled and tapped in the centre of that. So that's, uh, that's how that's going to work. Um, looking at this I'm going to need some kind of upstand on this. I have got some of this box section left. Um, I've got a few pieces of this, this left so I'm thinking of uh, attaching this to the mypad bed somewhere. So the the pillar blocks will be uh, mounted on top of there, so it's in line with the spindle. I may reduce that yet, I don't think I need it that far out, but I've got enough meat on there to play with, so that's how that goes. I've just been machining, I believe it's called a, a crossing wheel. Uh, this is a piece of aluminium that I've cast. Um, this will be. Uh, I've got to make another housing for this to just fit onto onto that side, but that that will fit onto there. And then there's another wheel, which will be the drive wheel, which is slightly bigger diameter than this. And I'm going to machine a a slot in it. I'm thinking of going for the round urethane belt. Don't know whether to go for six or eight millimeters. There's enough. Uh, there's enough width on there if I do go. Do decide to go for the eight. So it'd be another another wheel mounted on this side, which would be the drive wheel. And then uh, there's a spring-loaded lever that um, latches onto the crossing wheel, and that's that's what transfers the drive from the from the pulley wheel with the motor onto the spindle for uh, that goes through the headstock and uh, the way that works you press the lever down there's not notches cut into this press the lever down and the arm comes up and then you can rotate the uh, headstock without moving the drive uh, drive wheel so but, uh, yeah I think we're getting somewhere now guys yeah I think I've got I think I've got enough enough pieces of this left to make some kind of upstand once to go up to about that height um, I've still got the still got the tool tool holder to finish, it's almost there. I need to drill and tap some holes in this for some 6mm grub screws and uh, give it a good clean up but that's uh, that's looking good now so yeah I also think I'm going to have to reduce the height of these upstands because um, I think Definitely, definitely, probably about twenty. I should say about twenty mil high. So I can either reduce the depth of this. I think I'll probably just go for re reducing the height of these uh, stanchions. Well that's all guys, thanks for watching, see you soon.